By the end of this video, you will be able to perform a compound search allowing you to simultaneously search more than one field at a time. Here's the situation. You are an administrative assistant for a large K-8 school. The coach of the junior varsity mixed soccer team has asked if you could generate a list of grade 5 boys on the team. Another school has invited them to practice with their grade 5 boys. In addition to the list of names, the coach would like a column with their home phone numbers in case of an emergency. As always, click on the Power School logo to refresh the page and you're ready to go. The key to performing a compound search such as this is to use a semicolon between individual search commands. In this instance, you want to search for grade 5 students and find those who are male and find those who play junior varsity soccer. You can perform these searches simultaneously by separating each search using a semicolon. Your first search parameter is grade. Click on the view field list. This will bring up all available search fields. Type grade in the handy filter and select grade level. This will insert the proper field in the search window. You're looking for fifth graders, so type equals five to complete the search command. Type in a semicolon. The second search parameter is gender. Again, click on the view field list, type gender in the filter, select gender. You're looking for male, so type equals M to complete this search command. Type in a semicolon. The last search parameter is soccer. Click view field list. In the filter, type soccer. Typing soccer in the filter will produce a list of rather lengthy field names for soccer. Choose the JV boys field. This field will have a value of 1 if a student is indeed on the soccer team. So typing equals 1 should find the soccer players we are looking for. In summary, you are searching for 5th graders and searching for those who are male and searching those who play JV soccer. Notice that each search is separated by a semicolon. Clicking the search icon selects all the 5th grade boys on the soccer team. Your confidence rises as you have successfully found the players that you're looking for using a powerful compound search. Now all you need to do is print a list of these players along with their phone numbers. Once the students are selected, look down at the lower right. Select the arrow key to display the group functions. Click List Students. A window opens up that allows you to set up a list of players for printing. Type in a title for your list. You can now set up columns for your list. It makes sense to have columns showing the student's last name, their first name, and their phone number. For column 1, click on the corresponding fields icon. Type last in the filter. Select last name. Name this column last. For column 2, you click on the corresponding fields icon. In the filter, type first. Select first name. First will be our title for that column. In the third column, you would like the phone number printed. Click on the fields icon. Type phone in the filter, select home phone, and we'll give this a title as well, phone number. Next, adjust the options to change the style of the list. Enter 5 in the padding each cell field. This gives your list a nice vertical spacing. In other options, select grid lines to make the list of students appear easier to read. Notice that you also have the option to sort your list if you so choose. Click Submit and your list is generated. 
Looking at the list, you can see that the default sort setting for a student selection is that the students are sorted alphabetically by last name. To print your list, simply click on the print icon located in the upper right. Check your printing parameters, press print, and your task is complete. Congratulations! You've successfully used the compound search feature to search through multiple fields at the same time. Your list of grade 5 boys soccer players is printed and ready for the coach.